Good morning, you guys. Welcome back to the vlog. So I wanted to quickly jump in and share with you guys this really, really cool coffee that I've been drinking. So it's called Javi, and it's actually a coffee concentrate, which if you asked me about coffee concentrate a few weeks ago, I would have said, oh, I don't know. It kind of worried me like I wasn't sure it was going to do everything that regular coffee does. But let me tell you about this little bottle of joy. This is a Javi coffee concentrate. There is 100 milligrams of caffeine in one teaspoon of this. There are 30 servings in this bottle and you can get three of these bottles for like $16.95. I've been paying $5.95 for almost five bucks every week for one of those big Starbucks gallon jugs and it lasts me a few days, but this, 30 servings in one bottle, you get three bottles for $16.95. So the taste of this is really good. It tastes just like regular Starbucks coffee. You just put two teaspoons of the Javi coffee concentrate into whatever coffee liquid that you're using. I just use water and ice. I just put my two teaspoons in, mix it in, add my cream, and it's like Starbucks. It's delicious. So um, I've been trying this for the last few days, as you guys can see. And I'm really loving it. Scott actually tried it a couple days ago and he said that it tasted really good, that the flavor was really nice. It didn't feel like burnt or um, like um, too powerful. Um, but what I love about this is it is sugar free, gluten free, and it is vegan. So as you guys know, if you've been with me for a little while, I do bright line eating. Most of the time I've been a little bit naughty. I'm eating Ezekiel toast right now. Mm, so good. But anyway, I love it because non-GMO, sugar-free, gluten-free, so it's totally in line with my Bright Line eating, and it's really affordable. Like I said, I've been buying, I think I buy two of those big liter jugs of the Starbucks coffee from like the grocery store every week, and that's 10 bucks, which isn't that expensive when you think about buying coffee, because I don't like hot coffee. I like it cold and iced. Um, and I don't like making hot coffee and then putting it on ice because it's just watered down. But for 16 bucks, and you get 30 servings, and three, that's 90 servings. So 10 bucks a week or 16 bucks for the whole month. I think it's a pretty good idea. So anyway, I am really loving it. The taste is spot on. You don't need a coffee machine. All you need is ice water or hot water if that's your jam. Um, so check it out. I'm going to put the link to the Javi coffee down in the description below. And yeah, hopefully if you guys try it, you enjoy it. I enjoy it. And let's get back to the video. Guys, I think she's mad at me. Are you mad? Hmm? You mad at me, teens? Because I left her here this weekend with Peach. I think she's upset. Are you mad at me? Hmm? No? You're gonna forgive me? Huh? You're gonna forgive me? Gosh, I love this rat. Oh, shit, teeny butt. Ooh, 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 ooh. Alright, you guys, so I'm here at school and I need to put some stuff away. I bought myself a microwave because, you know, walking. 10 steps to Mandy's room across the hall just is too much work. So um, I did get myself, oh, are you happy? She's grinding her teeth. So I did get myself a microwave, so I need to put that up. I need to unload all this other stuff. I brought back like some of the rat beds and the rags that we used to clean their cages. And then um, lunch and stuff. I need to put creamer in my Javi coffee. And then I went to the printing room and made all my copies for the week may I add, for the week. So um, I am gonna get those set up in my little drawers. So I do have quite a bit of work to do. This table, I don't even wanna look at it. For now, we're just gonna not look at it, okay? All right, Teeny, go ahead. Um, Peach is still hiding in there. She probably won't come out. But for now, I'm just gonna get myself set up and situated. And it's seven o'clock, so I have 40 minutes until bus duty so I think I can get at least everything prepped for the day 
like everything's ready. I just have to pull up all my like slides and stuff. So I'm gonna do that real fast. And then that way I'm ready for today and I can just focus on doing things in here that need to be done, like setting up my microwave and you know, doing all that. So let's do this. Luckily today I'm doing a Nearpod lesson, so I don't have any paper flow today at all. And I'm really jazzed about that. I found a really cool mapping skills Nearpod and Kahoot. And so that's gonna be really fun for the kids to do today. And then throughout the rest of the week, we're gonna be doing some mapping skills stuff. Hopefully the kids have a pretty good understanding of mapping skills, but they always come to me forgetting everything. So I'm just gonna keep moving forward with mapping skills and hopefully it'll be enjoyable. So I went to Home Depot yesterday and bought myself a couple of these plant stands because I have this Monstera plant. I don't even think this is a true Monstera plant, probably not, but I've been using this chopstick to hold it up because it's one of those plants that's like wants to lean with it and rock with it, you know what I mean? So now I've got this cool little stand that holds it up in place and I don't have to use this goofy lightsaber anymore. I mean, I'll probably leave it in there because it's really cool, but now the plant stands upright. Who's making a mess over here? I hear, I hear little noises. Hey, you peach. She is so funny. Okay, where's Teeny at? Teen! You better not be trying to eat my eggs, lady. She's in my lunchbox. There's nothing in it. She's just in there. Mixed in my cream with my Javi coffee. It's delicious. All that's left to do, guys, is put my microwave away. So I think I'm gonna put my microwave either up here on top of my fridge and just move Darth Vader somewhere else. But I also have an abundance of this, like, supplies that I need to find a spot for. So I don't know, maybe I'll put the microwave over here because I do have an empty plug, but I will have to move this somewhere. So I don't know how I'm gonna do that yet. Yeah, I think I'll probably put it over there. Okay, so this microwave is really freaking cute. <laughs> Look how cute it is. It's so little. I honestly think I could put it on top of my, I think I might put it on top of my fridge. I just need to make sure that I actually have a plug to put it, put, plug it in with, which I think I do if I just move the rats over a tinge, because there is a plug like right there. I don't know, I think I should put it there. I think I'm gonna. Hey you guys, so it is now my prep period and I'm feeling really good about today. So I got a ton of stuff done over the weekend. I think I may have already said this, but I ended up working like two hours on Sunday at home just on prepping things for this week. And I got everything prepped for the entire week in those two hours. 
and one of the hours was while Cash was napping. The other one was in the morning. He loves watching cartoons while he eats his breakfast, and so they distracted him long enough for me to actually get some work done. And since my husband's home on the weekends, if I need to work in the office, I can just say, here, take him to the gym, or here, take him and do this, and it's really helpful. So even though I don't like working from home, I might have to do a couple of hours here and there, just so that when I'm here, I don't feel so stressed. So anyway, I actually have the time to sit down and do some club stuff. So a few of you in the comments asked about Glee Club, what um, it's like, what the club's actually gonna do. So I created the Glee Club to be sort of like a school show choir. And so it will kind of be like any other regular school choir or I guess music class where we will practice three or four songs and then every quarter we'll have a performance and then we're also going to be performing at pep assemblies because our school is K through 8th grade so I have 5th through 8th grade students in my club. Right now we're working on a high school a high school musical medley so we're doing three songs from high school musical. We're doing um, start of something new. We're going to do we're all in this together and then I think we might do bop to the top. So um, it's just supposed to be a fun way to get kids who are interested in singing or performing a way to explore that craft and that hobby so um, should be really fun um, but anyway I am chartering the club so that I can collect funds and um, so I just have to fill out this packet and this packet and then submit it to my student council so that is what I'm actually working on right now as we speak I just have my forms with my students names on them I'm just gonna fill them out and we'll see how it goes it <laughs> You're a little crooked there we go good morning my friends happy Tuesday I am here with Temple Tina she's just playing on my desk good morning love Peach is hiding in the cage, per usual. Um, but I just wanted to check in with you guys because a lot of you who watched my last video were so, so, so sweet and kind. And I, from all of the comments that you guys left me, I just feel so not alone and I feel so understood. And I just want to thank you guys for all of the amazing, amazing kind words that you left me on my last video. If you guys did not watch that, um, basically I was really struggling last week um, to get caught up with work, to get things done um, because I was bringing cash to school with me in the mornings. And if you're a parent like me, who's also an educator, then you definitely understand the struggle. Um, I. I feel so much better this week, not only just from A, getting it off of my chest, how I was feeling, but B, my husband is such an amazing support. Um, and so I'm just so grateful for not only him um, for stepping up and helping me out. Um, he's bringing cash to school three days a week, Mondays, Tuesdays, and Fridays. Mondays and Tuesdays are the days that I have bus duty. And so I have to basically give up like 30 minutes of my morning um, to do bus duty. And now that Cash doesn't come to school with me on Mondays and Tuesday mornings, I have the ability to come to school really, really early and get a lot done in those two days. So I'm here at 6.30. I was here at 6.30 yesterday. I'm here at 6.30 today. I'm champing some stuff out. And you guys, I'm feeling great. I have all of this week completely done, planned, printed, everything. And I am starting on next week. So let's talk about next week. I'm gonna just like plan with you guys and hopefully this is helpful. So um, if you're new here, I teach fourth grade science and social studies. And so this week in social studies, the kids are working on mapping skills. Now I've had a lot of requests in the comments to link certain activities like my marshmallow madness um, and a couple of other ones, but I just can't find where I got those. Uh, the Marshmallow Madness, I don't think I got that on Teachers Pay Teachers. I think that came from Pinterest. So I will do my best to try to find it, but if I can't find the link to it, unfortunately I'm not going to be able to link that. I will do my best. 
Um, I will be linking all of that kind of stuff in my Linktree website, which you can find down in the description below. If you um, keep scrolling, it'll say like my links website or something. I'll actually pull it up on my Chromebook and see what it's actually called. Um, because I do want to share stuff like that with you guys, um, at least where I found it. But unfortunately, if there's no link down there, it just means that I couldn't find it. Like the Marshmallow Madness thing, I really could not find that link. I tried. Um, <clears throat> but I just don't know where I got it from. It may have been like a resource I got from a friend. I think I may have found it on Pinterest. I'm not really sure. Oh, here's my last video. Okay, so in the description at the bottom, if you go to Wix site, most product links, that's where I'm going to be linking things if I can find them. Um, that way they never go away because in my description I might link one thing in the description of one video and then it goes away for the next one. Like the big supply uh, clip art, that is linked in my Wix website so that it's always there. So anyway, maps and globes this week we're working on using latitude and longitude lines to uh, find locations. Uh, that's what we're going to be doing today. Uh, they're going to be practicing. They'll put in a notebook page and then they'll actually practice the skill. Um, so I have a notebook page for them to glue in and then I have an activity for them to do. Um, they're also going to be making their own maps using Nearpod. If you guys have not heard about Nearpod, I absolutely love Nearpod. Um, I actually paid for my subscription this year because I wanted to be able to use all of the lessons in there. I wanted to be able to have more storage. So um, two things that I really wanted to pay for this year. One was Nearpod. I think it was like 100 bucks for the whole year, um, maybe even less. And then Generation Genius is another resource that I 100% will pay for. So um, yeah, so that's what I'm planning on doing next week. Oh, we're going to start out with a Generation Genius lesson. So I'm actually going to use this lesson to kind of like springboard um, the whole unit of Earth science. So I started last week with Earth's spheres. So just getting the kids thinking about what the spheres are, what's included in the spheres, and now I'm going to move into Earth science so that by the end of the year they can explain how the spheres interact and how um, those processes shape the Earth. So um, we're starting with weathering and erosion. Temple Tina, get your booty off my Chromebook, girl. You are clicking buttons. This rat is such a brat. You are such a brat. So anyway, Generation Genius, if you guys have not heard of it, it is an amazing resource that I highly recommend you pay for. Um, whether you split it with your grade level team, I did not say that, um, or whatever. Basically, it has a correlation to every state standards. So like the one that I pulled up, this one is connected to Next Gen uh, Science Standard, but it's also aligned to Arizona. So I can look for Next Gen or Arizona. Um, it comes with stations almost all of the lessons come with a station activity so like this one has uh, three stations I try to do five stations every time I'm doing a station activity I usually do one at their seat whether it's via epic or if it's on boom cards or deck toys if you don't know what those are look them up um, or some sort of like nearpod activity that they can do at their seat um, or I'll add a stem activity to go with it but anyway, I love this because not only does it come with stations, but it comes, they, they're in 5E format. So if you don't know what 5E are, they are um, ex, uh, engage, explore, explain, elaborate, and evaluate. I had to look because I have them up here. Um, but it is just a really nice format for teaching science. And they're all um, organized in the 5E format. So there's an engage activity. This one comes with a See Think Wonder, so I will probably make this into a Nearpod presentation just so that I can have it all organized. Then they explore with um, <clears throat> their stations. And then there's an explain activity, a discussion, and then there's a 12 minute video that goes along with it. There's a DIY activity that they can do at home or you could do them in class. And then there's an evaluate section. So they always come with a Kahoot quiz game. They come with an exit ticket. They come with all of the discussion questions on Google Forms. So you have the ability to collect data. Um, and then I like to just use the vocabulary words that come with the lesson to help um, with all of that piece. 
So Generation Genius is one of my all-time favorite resources. Um, they did sponsor me last year. Um, not this year, but amazing, amazing resource. So again, um, that's what I'm planning for for next week. So I have weathering and erosion. It's going to be, I think it might end up being a two-week unit. We'll see how it goes uh, depending on what, how they're understanding because um, erosion and weathering is a huge fourth grade standard and skill. And so I really don't want to rush it. Um, she's in my lunchbox. You're going to fall, sister. You're going to fall off the microwave. You can be careful. She's in my lunchbox again. But this time there's like dishes in there. So anyway, I'm gonna get to printing a couple more things. There, uh, there's also reading material in here. Like this is an amazing uh, resource. Okay, so I'm gonna download and print this reading material, which is great because if you need background information for yourself as the teacher, it's amazing. Um, I'm gonna download the teacher guide, which usually has the um, vocabulary words and definitions in there. Uh, let's print that. Print. And then like I said, I can just build my entire lesson upon this, so. Good morning, guys. So it is Thursday morning. Cash is here. Cash, say hi. You're playing with Teeny. Be gentle with Teeny. Don't drop her. So we're here, it's 7.24. We're just gonna hang out for about five minutes and then we'll head down and take Cash to school. But today is one of my late arrival days because I'm bringing Cash to school. And I got Teeny. You got Teeny? Okay, let's say goodbye to her. Bye, Teeny. Say bye, Teeny. Bye, Excuse me, baby. Teeny will get to come out in a little bit when the kids get here. So, let's see, what are we doing today? Oh, the kids are going to work on and hopefully today finish their maps that they are making. So today I'll be going around and checking everybody's maps. This one is my map. So this is like that general popular create a country, like create a map assignment. And I just have a Google slide up when the kids are in here that explains what things need to be on their map. So again, Ooh. title, compass, legend, scale, color is one of the criteria that I added as well. Because as we talked about, um, on maps that don't have color, you can't determine the difference between water and land. So. No, don't put that in there. Why? Do you guys see what I mean? Like, he's not able to just sit and chill. So, that's okay. Two days a week. I bring him to school and it's just a late day. Don't put it in there, please. Take it out. Why? Because it doesn't belong in the microwave. What's it do? It's food that needs to stay cold. I want to make it to make it cold. Then put it in the fridge. Making it cold. That's not the fridge, that's the microwave. I want to go to the microwave. No, we're not going to put anything in the microwave. What's, what's the microwave do? The microwave makes things hot. Nothing in that fridge needs to be made hot. Anyways. <laughs> so, oh, that's chocolate. You can have that this afternoon if, you're, if you make good choices at school today. I can save it for you. You want me to save it for you? Uh, I'm going to take one bite of it. No. Did you poop your pants or fart? No, I'm not giving this to you before school because it will make you have um, make poor choices. But if you make good choices at school, I'll give it to you after. I'll save it for you. Here, put this back in my fridge. Thank you so much. Okay, three minutes till I can take him down there. Are you on this? Um... No, I don't want that. Okay. Thank you, though. So, anyways. Um, we're just getting things ready. I just uploaded my... Um... Good morning, CCR teachers. We are going to be on rainy day due to the mud balls in the back. So, mm -hmm. we will be on rainy day. Um. So, anyway. What was I saying? I forget. I forget. 
Put it all back in the fridge, please. Is this one? That is cream cheese. Oh. Yep, that's cream cheese. Um, like I was saying, today they're gonna go ahead and finish um, making their maps, and then tomorrow we'll do some more activities that involve using maps to answer questions. Are you ready to go downstairs? No. Will you put some of these things in my fridge for me? Will you put all these in my fridge? You're such a big helper. Will you put all that in the fridge? All right, my friends. It is now currently Friday. It is 5.45 in the evening. And I am going to sit down and look at my grade book or maybe pretend to look at my grade book for a while. Hi, dear. Hi. How you doing? <laughs> um, anyway, this week's vlog has been kind of all over the place, so I appreciate you guys for hanging in there. Um, we're going to be getting into erosion and weathering, and I have a lot of things that I want to show you guys for next week. So, anyways, I will see you guys then. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram, and hit subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!